friends who live on the internet, Angela here. It's been a while. I keep thinking of making a video and it's not happening. And um, I've had a lot of stuff happen recently. <laughs> I had a root canal and I had an abscess apparently at the root of that tooth. So then I was on antibiotics and um, I finally just finished those. But I feel like I might be getting another sinus infection. Like, just, it seems like it never stops with my health stuff. Um, it's, <clears throat> it's been hot here for a few days. And with my multiple sclerosis, I feel really crummy when it's hot. And um, I end up staying inside where we have cool air. But I still feel tired and sluggish when it's hot outside, even when I don't get hot. And I don't know if it's a barometric pressure issue or what. But anyway, so it was only really hot for like three days and I got super depressed, which is not good because in the past, um, like three summers ago, I got super duper depressed to the point of being, feeling really suicidal. And um, since then, my husband has taken, in the summer, he takes one day off a week. He takes off every Wednesday to be home, to take care of the boys, to give me a break, let me recharge for a day. Um, he really is freaking amazing. But anyway, um, I'm safe. I'm okay. But the fact that I got really depressed with only three days is concerning. So anyway, send me good, good vibes. Like I know other people freaking love summer, but summer for me is like prison. Like I'm going to prison and I I'm in solitary confinement. That's what it feels like. Except I also have to watch my children <laughs> and cook them food and deal with the whining and the fighting and all that. So anyway, um, but I have had so many acquisitions since the last time I was on here. I don't even know where to start. I'm not going to show you all of them because there's so many. Um, but for Mother's Day, my daughter bought me, um, she took me to Walmart and let me choose four different cakes of yarn. So that was awesome. And I'll put, I'll, one of them was this one. <laughs> I already had one. It's the Mandala Ombre Mantra. I already had one. So now I have two. So I don't know what I'm going to make with them in this colorway. I have two. And I just love this. I love the blues and the greens and how it kind of looks like it's stonewashed jeans. I really love these ombres. And the, the yard is a little bit thicker than the other mandalas. So anyway, the other three she got me I did not bring in here, but I'll try to remember to put a picture at the end of the video. Um, I have been working on this tablecloth that I'm gonna take to the fair, which I've already showed you guys repeatedly. Um, but I'll show you how far I've gotten now. And now I got to the point where I had to stop with this part. Okay, so here it is up to this point. It looks like a big spider web, basically. Okay, now I'm at this point where I have to do a row of these sideways pineapples. So it took me a while to figure these out. I tried one day and got frustrated and I came back to it a week later and I got them figured out. But anyway, so the reason they're confusing is because before you finish one, the other one starts and you build off of each one. So I'm at, I'm working on the fourth pineapple now just started <laughs> um but anyway I have to do like 18 of these and then attach them to the bottom of where I am with that um with that tablecloth and I misread the pattern originally so I ended up having to buy another cake or another um twister of the same yarn from Hobie Hobby whatever it is here's the name let's see if it'll, I don't know. Anyway, H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Hobie makes sense to me. I've heard people call it hobby. I don't know. But anyway, so I have another cake of that. I think by the time I get to the end of those cakes, um, I will be done with this. So, I mean, hopefully I'm done with it before the fair in August. <laughs> Yeah, I will be, but it just seems like a project that's going to take forever. But now that I finally figured out the pineapples, I think it's not going to be so bad. This is the first time ever, because normally a pattern clicks on my head. It's the first time ever that I'm having to keep track 
of what row I'm on. So I'm actually using one of these cheap little things and keeping track of what row I'm on in the pattern because otherwise I'm getting totally lost. So anyway, that's a first for me because normally my brain will just memorize the pattern and I'll start going. No. So anyway, um, since I had to make that order from Hobie, I added one of these cookies, which is a cookie wheel. And I just thought this color was really pretty. Like it's not one of my normal colors. There's a little bit of purple in it. But in general, it's a lot darker than stuff I enjoy, but I really like these colors. So I bought this cookie. Um, it is 100% acrylic. They suggest a 4 to a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, and it is 600 meters, they say. So that should be enough to do a scarf or, I don't know. I'm probably just going to sit it on my shelf. You know how we are with our yarn people. <laughs> um, I... I went to a local, um, there's a little local secondhand shop and this morning I went over there and I got a whole bunch of I love this yarn that someone had turned in and I know it's, you know, possible slash probable it was somebody's stash and ended up getting turned in. But anyway, I got this, I love this cotton and it has sparkle in it and I don't know if you see this, yeah. You can kind of see the sparkle. But I didn't realize they made I Love This Cotton with Sparkle. But of course, I hardly ever get to Hobby Lobby because I only go to any town with Hobby Lobby on Sundays. And guess what? Hobby Lobby's closed on Sundays. But anyway, I got this I Love This Cotton, which is blue and it doesn't have sparkles. And so today I came home and I made my very first ever washcloth <laughs> with cotton. And I actually think this pattern's really cool. So anyway... But that took me like, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half. It was really fast. Um, I'm pretty sure I did not show you in my last um, video that I got a bigger knitting machine. If I did show you, sorry. Yeah, I think I did show you. Anyway, I have used it to make a sock blank and dye it and it ended up looking really good. So um, my son, he broke my um, ball winder. It's my fault kind of because I had it cranked onto the bottom of one of our dining room chairs, but I did have the dining room chair pulled over by my chair because I was using it to wine, to ball wine. Anyway, he ended up slamming into it, sitting on it and breaking it. And it was the cheapest one you could possibly get off of Amazon. So anyway, I took the opportunity to get a uh, much sturdier one that does much larger balls. Of course, the first thing I did was crack myself in the head with one of these big, huge metal things. <laughs> but anyway, I've used it a few times to make some balls of yarn, and I am loving it. Um, the <clears throat> LXD technology is what it says. But I figured I use a ball winder enough um, with the yarn dyeing and stuff that I really needed a ball winder. So I took that opportunity as well to, to wind basically everything that was on my shelves and partially used things um, and I ended up organizing all my yarn so I feel good about that um, I've done some more yarn dyeing sorry if you're getting sick of me talking um, I've dyed some more yarn and I think it's pretty and I don't even know what all I've shown you guys I guess I should have re-watched one of my videos to see what I've done so far but anyway um, I did these. This is the sock blank that I made on my new big knitting machine. So these are equal. Like if someone used these to make a pair of socks, like the colors will change at same times. Um, and then these are little minis. So what I did was I did the breaking violet, but I did these first. So they got the darker purple and then these ended up with mostly blue and weirdly a little bit of pink. So very interesting. But anyway, I think I'm going to list this whole thing as a set because you could use this, use these for um, cuffs and heels on socks and it would all be stuff that goes together. I don't know. That was kind of a fun one to do. And then, um, oh, I dyed, um, I dyed four different 
uh, hanks of yarn for Mary. Mary wanted me to send her some of my hand dyed yarn. So can look forward to a um, an unboxing video with Mary because um, it's also her birthday month. So I took that opportunity <laughs> to send her some birthday gifts too. So it's a lot more um, stuff than she purchased from me. I'll just say that. So hopefully she's going to love it. Um, I didn't end up putting as much as I would have just because of the price. Um, the the price of shipping. Um, I could have sent her so much more, but the price of shipping. So I spent $75 for shipping and I used a medium uh, flat rate USPS box and it was $75. If I had gone up to the large, which is not all that much bigger, it would have been $95. I could have maybe put another skein or two in, but it didn't feel like it was worth $20 to me to do that. Um, so anyway, I just hope she loves what she gets. And she said she's going to do an unboxing video whenever it gets there. So look forward to that. But she told me to surprise her with the colors. She didn't tell me what colors to do. So she told me to surprise her with the colors. She told me she needs to start using brighter colors. And I told her, I hope you don't regret that. Because <laughs> you all know I really love my bright colors. Um, and she said she couldn't imagine regretting it. So anyway... I ended up making, she wanted two skeins that were kind of speckled with bright colors and then two skeins that were like coordinating but solid slash, I mean, they're, they're not fully solid because, um, I don't know. I just like how it's more of a tonal thing. Like they, they have a little variation, but it's obvious that it's all the same color. So anyway, but I did a whole bunch of those and, um. I don't remember if I showed you my yarn mop. One day I was dyeing yarn with blue and it used up, like it didn't use up hardly any of the blue and the water was still bright blue. So I threw this skein in and got this amazing blue. And then I thought, well, I'll just put red on the other side and instead it turned into a rose color. So I just think this one turned out really pretty. But anyway, I think I've shown you everything else because the ones I've done most recently were the ones I sent to Mary. They left, um, I got a text message that it finally left America, her box left America Friday, I think. So I don't know how much longer it's gonna take to get to her in Northern Ireland, but look forward to that. Also at the secondhand store, I did find this. And it's roving. Now I'm failing horribly at the drop spindle, but I'm hoping to get to try out an actual um, spinning wheel and see how that goes. Cause I think that's the drop spindle. I just feel like I don't have enough coordination in both hands to do it, which sounds crazy, but it just feels weird. So I just love the colors on this. And it was only a dollar at the second hand store and it's a bunch of roving. So if I ever get to actually play with a real spinning wheel, I'm totally going to use that, <laughs> that roving. So I think that's it. And I think I might have repeated myself about a few things because it's been so long since I made a video and I've forgotten stuff. Um, yeah, send me love and prayers that I don't get super depressed this summer. I mean, I'm going to try really hard to have a good attitude, but some summers it's really hard. Sometimes it's just super hard. I really should be living somewhere where it never gets this warm. But my husband, who you all know, I adore. It, he gets depressed in in winter and he loves summer. So, yeah, if I didn't love him, I would have been gone years ago. <laughs> but he's totally worth being bummed out for a few months a year and uh, and not feeling so great. So, I mean, we kind of stay here as a, uh, you know, like he's depressed in winter, I'm depressed in summer, but we both have several months out of the year that we feel pretty good. So it's just sad that when I'm really depressed, he's really happy, except he feels bad that I'm depressed. And when I'm really happy, he's really depressed, except I feel bad that he's depressed. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess opposites attract. That's what they always say. And I think it's true because we've been opposite from the moment we met. 
but we're the same in the ways that really matter. <laughs> so, all right, I guess I will let you guys go. Sorry it got so long, although 15 minutes isn't long compared to some of the other podcaster people, so I guess I don't need to feel bad. But I hope you all have had a wonderful Mother's Day and a wonderful few weeks, and um, I hope you're enjoying the summer-type weather that's coming, and I will talk to you later. Bye, everybody.